Hey, I'm Savannah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing this really quick and easy makeup look. So this is the look that I've been doing if I need to get ready in a rush or I just don't feel like putting on a full face of makeup, then this look is perfect because it's super quick, but I still love the way that it turns out. So for primer, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. And this has like a little bit of a tint to it, so I really like this. And I'm only going to put this on like the high points of my face. So I would normally put this like over my whole face, but I'm not going to be doing foundation today. So that's why I'm just putting this on the high points. Since I'm not using foundation, I'm going to go straight into concealer and I'm going to use the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Fawn. So when I'm not wearing a foundation, I would rather have a more full coverage concealer and only put like a little bit of it like that than have a light coverage concealer and do a lot of it because I feel like if you use a lot of concealer just by itself, it like makes it super obvious that you have concealer right here. And I'm also gonna brighten everywhere else too. And then I'm just gonna blend this out. And then whatever is left over on my beauty blender, I always go over my eyelids too. Now I'm going to cream contour using the Laura Mercier Concealer in the shade N9. This is a really good brush for blending out a cream contour. It's the Morphe M439. It's just like super dense, so it blends out really nicely. Now I'm just going to go over everything with my beauty blender just to make sure that everything is blended out. And then now I'm going to set my under eyes with the Ilia Soft Focus Powder. I love this setting powder for underneath my eyes because it really just blurs everything out. And then now I'm going to use the MAC Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun. So since I didn't put foundation on, this will give me like a little bit of color. And then it will also set like my bronzer and everything in place. It doesn't have like a lot of color. It'll just like give me a little bit. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is such a good bronzer. This is definitely one of my favorites. I always seem to pick this bronzer up over my high-end bronzers. I just love this one so much. So for blush, I'm going to use the MAC Powder Blush in the shade Never Say Never. It's this really pretty like deep pink. I used to use this all the time and then I just haven't used this in a while. So I just really want to use this one. 
I always use a different blush for this look. It just kind of depends how I'm feeling that day. This one's just really good for summer because it just gives you like that rosy sunburnt look. So for brows, I'm going to use this product that I just started using. It's the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. I've only used this a few times, but I really like it. It just like holds your brows in place. It doesn't give you any color or anything. It just keeps them in a place. And I never like my brows to be super filled in anyway. I always just do like a brow gel or something super subtle. So I really like this one. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Dominique Cosmetics Skin Gloss in the shade Golden Dew. This is my favorite like natural everyday highlighter. It's just really, really pretty and simple. I always like having a highlighter on my face no matter like what makeup look I'm going for. So for mascara, what I like normally would do is use the NARS Climax and then use the Hourglass Caution Mascara. And I use both of these together because the NARS one just really lengthens my eyelashes, but then the Hourglass one will make them like super thick. So I'm not going to use the Hourglass one today. I'm just going to use the NARS one because I just want my lashes to look pretty natural. Okay, so mascara is on, so the last thing that I'm going to do is put a gloss on, and I'm going to use the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. So a lot of people say that this, like, really tingles. I don't think it does that much. I think it's just, like, a tiny, tiny tingle. It's not bad at all. I don't think it hurts at all. Okay, so that is going to complete this video. I will have all the products that I used down below in the description box like always. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video.